Zoe, hi YouTube friends. Right, I've popped on today as over the weekend I was doing some magazine harvesting of um, some of my more precious hoarded magazines and as I was taking out the pictures I was thinking my goodness these are such mouth-watering images and I don't know if you feel the same but um, if you have some sort of weird fetish like um, quite a lot, lot of us do. The um, just some images are just just make you feel so happy and just oh you want to collect them and keep them and they're precious, precious. Um, so I thought, well, I want to share these images with you. Now, if this is not your cup of tea, looking at images from a magazine, then go find another video because there's plenty to peruse, peruse in mine or I'm sure there's someone else out there that will tickle your fancy so okay I don't want to bore you with that one but yeah if you if you're still here people that um, like magazine images um hi Ali <laughs> you may be the only one there <laughs> um then this is going to be the series for you oh I also had a little brain wave that I could um, take my harvested magazines and um, show you the images from them because um, I have I'm quite lucky that I have quite a lot of different magazines because um, I'm gifted quite a lot of them as my mother-in-law she goes to a lady that she cares for and she gets quite a lot of magazines and then saves them for me so anyway I'll stop rambling on and sort of get to the point of where I'm going with this. So, my first magazine I have here is um, the Mindfulness book, um, which was given to me. This is all that's left of it, is the front cover, because uh, I have completely gutted it. Now, if you don't understand, the term harvest is basically, you're cutting out all the pictures from a magazine. You're harvesting the pictures. And, um, so yeah, I'll show you what I got from there. Um, I'll show you the little ones first of all. So some some will be used for collage, some use in a journal, some whatever. So sorry if it glares out a little bit. So and I've got these pencils here. I thought this could be good for either my journal if I was doing smart or something, or it's just a very nice image. Um, the images do get better when I get to the bigger ones but this is just all the little ones um, just little tree one you never know when that's going to be handy uh, this this is just a very nice picture this could be in my dream book or whatever um, just a nice cozy image I have these ones here, I thought that'd be quite good um, in my journal for um, sleeping in. The reason I'm doing this as well is when I watched Ali's um, magazine, mag magazine image storage uh, video, that's Dingley Defenication if you're a new subscriber, uh, go check her out. Um, when she was showing all her pockets of medium size um, images, I was like, show us the images, <laughs> show us the images. So, uh, you're getting a treat here now, you're going to go see images. And then this one here, just thought is very, very pretty. And then I cut out words as well, so stress. <laughs> Sometimes that, that does happen. <laughs> and then a bit Stonehenge here, because it uh, could be used for so many things. And then these baby feet. And this is all this one magazine and I'll just say that it retails at $7.99. Now there's no way on this planet I'd be paying $7.99 for a magazine I'm going to chop up. But saying that, if you went to Hobbycraft and you bought a pack of like die cuts or something like that, you're probably going to spend a tenner. Whereas the images, I think you're grey, I mean look at that, <gasps> big birthday cake. <laughs> How many candles are on that? Gonna set the fire alarm off. Um, <laughs> fly me, that's my next birthday. Um, <laughs> I think you'll agree, like for all the images that you get out of it, then it's probably worth the money, but I'm still not gonna pay $7.99 for it. If I can get it free. There we go, some nuts. Why not? Post-its. 
And then these ones are always quite handy, like little paintbrush thing shows, you know, that I've done some painting that day or something like that for my journal. Oh, and then I've cut out Chinese because I work in a Chinese, so that's pretty good. Books. Are you very impressed with my, my cutting skills here? They're very square, aren't they? <laughs> I'd love a bit of square cut in here. Bless you, Zoe. When you send me my stuff, <laughs> it does look like you literally just ripped it out. <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not being mean. <laughs> it does literally like you've got very excited. Oh, um for new subscribers, Zoe is my pen pal, the reason I make these videos in the first place. And um we send happy mail to each other and uh, she, I think she just gets very excited when she's in the magazine. She's just like, hi Diva Lads, that's rip! <laughs> so it comes to me in that form as well. <laughs> Whereas I have a bit more OCD with the scissors. I love you Zoe! <laughs> Cat, why not? It's a nice one, the little thing. And this one. Some of these would be very good for collage and stuff. Another cat there. It's a nice looking cat. Oh, some tomatoes. Um, I find food images always quite appealing. Um, I'm not one for sprouts as such, apart from at Christmas. But um, sometimes the food images are very, very nice. And then we have this lady here. So she'd be quite good um, in some sort of collage or something, or like on one of the ATC cards, maybe. She's in an interesting position. Some pills. Never know when you're going to need a picture of pills. And this. I know it just. It was a very good magazine for images, I think you'll agree. And I think this one's very good as well because you could have her on a collage quite easily and she's not too bad to cut out as well because she's a triangle isn't she so you don't have to fussy cut in between but you could find a way best way to fussy cut is just basically cut through her arm cut round and then when you glue it down you don't see the cut anyway so that is the best way to fussy cut her and this is uh, a bit of oh, I can't think quartz maybe I just thought it'd be quite good as a texture image for a collage. And as you see, the image is all quite like, because it's a mindful book, isn't it? So it's all like distressing your life and things like that. So they're all quite that type of image. Just um, it's a lot, isn't it? See, so you're getting your money's worth out of this book. Well, it was free, so my money worth anyway, but. And then we're nearly at the end of the little ones, and then we're going to get onto the big ones, which I am most excited about, because, well, there were some images in there. And then just that bath there. So that's all the little ones, all from that magazine. Now, I'm going to show you the big ones. Dun, dun, dun. Right. So, this had like A4 full spread pictures. I mean, that's so fantastic, isn't it? So, we've got that one. I mean, look at that. That is just yum, isn't it? That's just such a nice picture. Lots of nice colours. And then this one. And mm, that's interesting, isn't it? And that one, that would have to, I feel like that should be made into some sort of collage of some sort, something stuck in it or her holding something or whatnot. And there's the big version of the pills, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I love that, that's just lovely. That just brings all sorts of memories, summer days, when you're sunbathing you put hands over your eyes to stop the sun shining through. And this one, glorious colours. Another good collagey one there. You could definitely do something with that. 
And this one's really good as well. And just such yummy images in this one, aren't there? And eventually I might even show cutting off a Daphne's diary. So what I've done on this one is obviously I've already pre-cut it. But if you'd prefer, because I thought I'll go through the magazines or you know, comment if you think you like this idea. Um, but also, um, if you'd prefer, instead of me pre-cut and showing the images, me going through the magazine and sort of pointing out which images I would take out for things and you know so you get to look through the whole magazine not just when I've cut up the I love this cut up the images so um, do comment below um, to how you think this might go and if you like this idea all together of like seeing the different magazines and um, this is obviously a little bit more UK based um, for the magazines unless anybody wants to send me a magazine from abroad <laughs> I'll cut that one up um, I might actually have one from Zoe so I'd have one from America and my mother-in-law is in India at the moment so I am going to message her and see if she can bring me an Indian magazine home and then we can hack that one to bits too <laughs> so yeah I mean these are so lovely though aren't they Love this. Look at the colours. So, so pretty. Wish I could paint like this. <laughs> and this lady. And we're nearly to the end of this one. Oh, and these beautiful flowers. Just going over there, aren't they? They just still look lovely. And last but not least, somebody having a massage. <laughs> but the black and white, the the shadows and stuff on that is very very good so yeah that was all from that magazine so if you're in the UK that one is in your shops this is a very old one but I imagine it's still in the shops um, and that's that one so I will um, come back with another magazine one and I hope you enjoyed this one and please feel free to comment to um, sorry blah 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 <laughs> can't talk anymore it's funny isn't it right feel free to comment underneath let me know what you think if you like this idea i can obviously carry on um if you like the format of this idea or if you'd like me to change anything comment throw the comments at me um as long as they're nice ones <laughs> and um take care press the like button subscribe if you haven't and everyone have a lovely day bye